I'm Stéphane Jaillet. Uh, I'm heading the product management uh, team for the digital solution uh, for IDMIA for the connectivity services business unit. Uh, in this business unit, we are serving the different mobile operators in the world for delivering them SIM card, but also solutions. Yes, with IoT, uh, with Internet of Things, basically it means that it is meant for any kind of device. With the new IDMIA offering that is coming to the market, I would say that uh, basically we are there to serve the low power devices, the new devices that are coming to the market, which today were excluded for the subscription management services. Therefore, if we take an example, we can have, for example, an asset tracker or a container that is crossing a border. When crossing this border, basically it will change country. With the IDMIA solution, you will be able to detect that the container is crossing a border, detect that then you need a local connectivity, and then based on that, you will change instantly the connectivity for that uh, container and then addressing potentially the abuse of the roaming cost that are associated to that new country. Therefore, for IDMIA, uh, we, with that kind of solution, uh, we are proud with our let's say, a uh, long history in the SIM industry to deliver a full end-to-end -end services for our customer, covering the EU ICC on one side, up to the server solution that will cover then the end-to-end -end solution for our customer. So I will not use one word, but I will use three. No way back. So you all see on the news uh, last fall that uh, Apple was announcing the iPhone 14 being eSIM only in the US. It is not yet done for every region, but we do expect that uh, in the future that will become a reality. And also, basically, we believe that uh, whatever the market, being the IoT, the M2M, it will be the same trend in the future. Maybe a bit later, but that there is no brainer that it will become reality. And as such, there will be a big waves coming for the customer. And we are prepared in IDMIA to cope with that uh, wave and we are preparing our customer and we are ready to serve our customer for that big wave. And for this, we are deploying our solution on the public cloud with Microsoft, which is bringing us the scalability, the power and the resiliency that we need to deliver to our customer. And also, it helps comply to the regularity requirements. Basically, one of the main barriers is this is the complexity of the existing ecosystem. And what our, the customer of our customer are expecting, this is something simple, something easy to integrate, and this is something that they do not have today. They want to have instant connectivity, and this is not possible. So let's take an example. Basically today, what we are offering is that we are trying with our existing M2M uh, offering to simplify the ecosystem but we will take benefit of the new specification to even do it even more easy. So really the key word is simplicity for the deployment, simplicity for the integration for our customer, and simplicity of the management of the solution. And let's take an example here again. Simplicity of management. Today, if you have two different platforms and two different solutions, it means that you need to have different pool of subscription for the operator. With the IDMIA solution, one single pool will be enough. And at the last minute, at the last minute, sorry, we will be able to deliver the right profile to the right device whenever it is required by your customer and instantly. The main thing that we believe that the SGP32 will bring is that we will move from a niche market to the mass adoption. So that will be a clearly, a, a, let's say, a disruptor on the market uh, in order to, 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 to reach the target that we wanted to have initially with the M2M ecosystem. Basically, why it will come to that reality is one of the main objectives of that specification was to reuse existing infrastructure from the operator that they are using for the consumer devices. And this one is already widely deployed. So from the operator perspective, the effort is not that big, I would say, to have a solution that will be there. And in addition, for IDMIA, in order to serve our customer, we are partnering to, with two big module vendors covering a big part of the market share today in order to ensure that the new specification will be tested with our UICC, with our server and with their module in order to ensure that we will deliver a solution 
from day one that will work for every customer that we are serving. The main barriers that we see today on the market, this is the complexity of the ecosystem. This complexity has a huge impact for our customer. When you want to onboard uh, a new MNO, for example, for an enterprise customer, it takes weeks and not to say months in order to have it live on the field. So it becomes impossible for those customers to onboard thousands or even more hundreds of MNOs for, to deliver their solution. So that's something that it will not be possible uh, to cope with. So with IDEMIA, we develop a solution that is already simplifying a bit this, this ecosystem, but we truly believe that the future uh, with the new ecosystem that we will be with one single interface, make a smooth transition for our customer in the sense that they have already integration done with the M2M ecosystem as it is today. With the new solution, they don't change anything. We have the same layer, the same interface, and after that, we have the logic in our system to hide the complexity of routing the services to the one or the, or the other platform, depending on the device that we have in front of us. And that will be a key differentiator on the market. And we already see from our customer that they are very keen to go to that model.